Snakes are widely considered to be among the world's most enigmatic and terrifying animals. They can be found in nearly every corner of the globe and come in an overwhelming variety of shapes, sizes, and colors. Although snakes have a bad reputation, they have a lot of fascinating features that you probably need to learn about. The top 10 most important facts about snakes are here. But before starting the video, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get all the latest updates. We will make more videos on interesting topics in the future, so if you want to see them, subscribe to our channel. Number 10. They are solar-powered. The term cold-blooded is occasionally applied to reptiles, despite their blood not being genuinely cold. This is a misnomer. The correct term for these organisms is ectothermic, which means that the temperature of their bodies varies and is controlled by factors outside of themselves. Reptiles can't control the temperature of their bodies on the inside like mammals and birds do. Thus, for them to get warm, they need external sources of heat, like the sun. Number 9. Snakes evolved over 142 million years ago. Due to the fragility of their skeletons, it is difficult to identify exactly when snakes originally originated on our planet. Nonetheless, the first evidence of snakes in the fossil record dates back to the Cretaceous period. According to the findings of these studies, the age of snakes ranges from 98 million to 142 million years. This places them in a younger evolutionary bracket than other reptiles like crocodiles, lizards, and turtles are perhaps the most surprising aspect of this information. Number 8. Brumation and Basking When temperatures drop, instead of going into hibernation, snakes go into a state known as brumation, in which their metabolic rate is significantly slowed down. During the colder months, most snakes refrain from eating and reduce their activity levels to conserve energy. Snakes may still come out to bask in the sun when the weather is mild and sunny in the middle of winter. Number 7. Not all snakes lay eggs. You might have learned in class that one way in which reptiles and mammals are distinct from one another is that reptiles produce eggs. Although humans tend to organize and label everything in their environment, the natural world operates according to its principles. Other snakes do not lay eggs, making up about 70% of the species. Because their eggs would die in the harsher environments they inhabit, snakes in these regions give birth to their young alive. Number 6. Some live in the sea. The vast majority of snakes call the land their home, although approximately 70 species of snakes call the oceans their home. Although they look very similar to their cousins who live on land, sea snakes have completely adapted to life in the water and cannot move around on land. Sea crates are the only exception to this rule, but they have very limited movement on land. Number 5. Do snakes have bones? Snakes do possess bones. Even though they are very flexible, they are classified as vertebrates, animals with bones. The backbone, often known as a snake's spine, is composed of several vertebrae connected to the ribs. Mature humans have a total of 206 bones, including 24 ribs. Snakes can have up to 33 ribs, bringing their total number of bones to 1,200. Number 4. Snakes don't have eyelids. Ever wondered why snakes could give you an uneasy feeling? They don't have any eyelids at all. As they cannot blink, they have no choice but to sleep with wide open eyes. They do not have eyelids but rather a thin membrane linked to each of their eyes to protect them. The membrane is referred to as the brill, which comes from the German word for glasses. Number 3. Their tongues smell. Snakes move their tongues out in front of their faces to detect odors instead of utilizing their noses. They can detect odor molecules thanks to a specialized organ on the roof of their mouth known as Jacobson's organ, which enables them to do so through their tongues. They can use numerous receptors to pick up varying levels of chemical stimuli thanks to the split present in their tongues, which further enhances this ability. Number 2. Snake Shedding Process and Vulnerability Snakes periodically shed their skin. They do this multiple times throughout the year, but primarily during the seasons with warmer weather when they are feeding more and expanding as a result. The procedure called sloughing can take a few weeks to complete. While a snake is in the shedding phase of its life cycle, it is at its most vulnerable and will typically hide. Number 1. Snakes have five forms of locomotion. This shouldn't come as a surprise, given that this, sometimes referred to as lateral undulation, is the most prevalent mode of locomotion utilized by snakes. On the other hand, snakes can have four more locomotion types. For example, 
The concertina movement used by arboreal snakes is seven times more energy intensive than other forms of snake locomotion. Slide pushing is the name given to snakes' unique mode of propulsion while attempting to flee across a smooth surface. Why do snakes shed their skin? Snakes naturally grow and change by shedding their skin. This is called sloughing. It usually happens several times a year, especially when it's warmer, and snakes are more active and eat more. As snakes get bigger, their skin gets too tight, and they may even get hurt. By shedding, the snake gets rid of its old skin and gets a new, more flexible one that lets it grow. Snakes shed their skin to help them grow and eliminate any parasites that might be stuck to them. The process of shedding starts when a snake's body goes through a change in hormones that pulls the skin away from the layer underneath. After this happens, a new layer of skin grows over the old one. The snake's eyes will also get cloudy or clear, temporarily making it hard for them to see. Once the new skin layer is fully formed, the old skin splits along the jawline. The snake crawls out of the old skin, leaving it in one piece. Depending on the type of snake and other factors, the process can take anywhere from a few days to a few weeks. Can you help a snake during the shedding process? Even though it may be tempting to want to help a snake shed its skin, it's usually best to leave them alone. Handling a snake during this time can add to its stress and even hurt its skin, which is very thin. During the shedding process, a snake's skin gets loose and flaky, and its eyes may become cloudy or opaque, temporarily making it hard for them to see. Because of this, they may be more afraid and more likely to bite or act defensively. Handling a stressed snake in this state can make it even more stressed, which can be bad for its health. Snakes also have the instinct to hide when they are shedding. This is because their eyesight may be temporarily bad, making it harder to see predators and stay away from them. When a snake hides, it feels safer and is better able to concentrate on shedding. You should be very gentle and careful if you have to handle a snake while it is shedding. Don't touch the areas where the old skin is peeling off, as this can cause more damage. If the snake gets too angry or stressed out, it's best to put it back in its cage and let it finish shedding on its own. Overall, the best thing you can do for a snake while shedding is to leave it alone and let nature take its course. Most snakes can shed their skin successfully if they are well taken care of and don't have to deal with much stress. How can you tell if a snake is about to shed? When a snake is about to shed its skin, it shows several physical signs. Even though the process of shedding is different for each snake, there are a few common signs to look for. Eyes that are dull or cloudy. As a snake gets ready to shed, its eyes become cloudy or opaque. This happens because fluid builds up between the old and new layers of skin, making the eyes look cloudy. The eyes will start to look better as the old skin falls off. Reduced appetite. As a snake gets ready to shed, it may also lose its appetite. This is because shedding can be stressful, and the snake may focus more on getting ready to shed than eating. Lack of activity. As a snake gets ready to shed, it may become less active and sleepier. This is because they are trying to save energy for shedding. Skin that looks dull or faded. As the snake gets ready to shed, its skin may look dull or faded. This is because the old skin is getting looser and less flexible. Increased hiding. Snakes may hide more as they get ready to shed their skin. This is because they are more likely to be attacked at this time and want to stay safe. So that's all for today's video. If you like this video, click the like and the bell buttons. We'll have another video for you soon. Take care until then.